You might need or want to replace the internal hard drive of your PlayStation 4 system for the following reasons. Additional storage space to your console, increased performance speed, and hard drive failure. Today we're going to address all these things, so stick around till the end. If you own a PS4 and play a lot of games, you probably realize by now that you don't have enough space in your hard drive to install your full library. Therefore, in order for you to download new games, you need to delete the old ones. But there are times where you would like to go back to those old games and there you have the same problem again. Not to mention that there are games that are over 100 gigabytes in size. Plus, if you have a slow internet, it may take many hours or even days to download. And even if you have a fast internet, this is not a practical solution. If you have a hard drive failure, you may have very subtle symptoms, such as loading screens that are taking longer than usual, um, game suddenly crashes, and you may notice that the UI is very slow. Or it can get to the point where your PS4 won't even boot up. If you're experiencing any of these issues, you definitely need a new hard drive. But before you go out and buy one, there is something else you should consider, and that is not only the size of the drive, but the speed as well. There are some games that are notorious for having long loading screens, such as GTA 5, Destiny 2, and The Witcher 3. So I started searching for the perfect hard drive at a reasonable price, and it was hard to make a choice because if you're looking for the fastest drive, SSD is the way to go. But as you may know, they are very expensive. And in the other hand, the cheaper 5400 RPM hard drives are very slow. Fortunately, I found a middle ground with the Seagate Firecuda Gaming Hybrid 2TB SSHD. This is a combination of both a solid state drive and a hard drive. With this hybrid drive, we're gonna cut the loading times from 20 to 45% depending on the game. The PS4 also supports an external storage. Now, you may think this is the best solution, but if you're like me, I take my PS4 everywhere. I take it to my friend's house, I take it to work, but yeah, this is not a practical solution. And also, if you unplug the external storage before shutting the PS4 off first, you can corrupt the drive or worse, it may not even work at all. Now, with all this in mind, I think I found the best solution for most people. Instead of buying an external hard drive, we can make our own. For instance, if you have the 500 gigabyte or one terabyte PS4, you can upgrade it to two terabyte SSHD. And also you can buy an adapter to turn the old hard drive into an external storage device. And for that you will need a 2.5 inch SATA to USB 3.0 adapter like this one, which you can get from $5 to $10. And you will end up with 2.5 or 3 terabytes of storage. This should be enough to install around 70 to 80 games, if not more. Now let me show you how to do it. In my case, I have a PS4 Pro, which comes with one terabyte. First, we have to flip it over In the back, we have to remove this plastic cover. And then remove this very unique screw. After that, you just have to pull the hard drive out. Then we need to remove two screws on each side of the metal case. And as you can see, this is a Toshiba hard drive. Not very reliable, but I'm still gonna use it with an adapter for the external storage. And here I have the hybrid drive. I went with two terabytes. Now we had to do the same steps in reverse order. 
just make sure to put the hard drive in the correct position. Next, just slide it back in. And here is the adapter with a 3.0 USB cable. All we have to do is to place the hard drive inside like so. And now I have one more terabyte as an external storage. We're not done yet. We still have to install the operating system and for that we need a computer and a USB flash drive. Just head to your web browser and type PS4 OS download and click on the second link. This is the up-to-date system version. Scroll down and click on the PS4 system reinstallation file. Automatically, it's gonna start downloading. The file is around one gigabyte in size. Meanwhile it's downloading, you can read the instructions by clicking on how to install PS4 system software from USB. And scroll all the way down and you can read the instructions from here. Once it's finished downloading, on your USB flash drive, we need to create a folder name PS4 all capital letters. And inside this folder, create another folder name update. And just copy the file here. and connect the USB drive onto the PS4, as well as the controller using the USB cable. Now we need to start the PS4 in safe mode. To do that, just press and hold the power button until you hear a second beep. Once you're on safe mode, select option seven Initialize PS4 Reinstall System Software. Select Update from USB Storage Device. And just select Yes, since the new hard drive does not contain anything. After that, just let it do its thing. It may take around 10 minutes. Once it comes on, you're gonna have to go through the same setup you did when you first got your PS4. And that's it. Now you can start downloading all your games. But another thing I would like to mention is that your PS4 won't automatically detect the new external storage device. When you plug it in, you will get a pop-up message that says, this USB storage device's file system is unsupported. We need to format it first. To do that, just go to settings and then go to devices and then select USB storage devices. And then select the drive and finally press X to format the external storage. And hit next, format, and yes. If you already had games installed on the system storage, you can always transfer them over to the extended storage and vice versa. To do that, just go to settings and then storage and then system storage. Press X on applications and press options and select move to extended storage. And finally, check mark all the games you wish to transfer to the external storage. I also wanted to show you some real life speed improvements with this new hybrid drive. Okay, to start, I got GTA 5. On the left, we have the old Toshiba hard drive and on the right, the new Seagate SSHT.
and as you can see the hybrid drive finishes at 1 minute and 42 seconds and the Toshiba hard drive at 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Next we have another open world game that is notorious for long loading screens. And here we only have a difference of 12 seconds, which is not much, but is still considered an improvement. Next, Destiny 2. This is perhaps one of the worst games when it comes to loading screens. Just take a look at this. The hybrid drive is done at a minute and 54 seconds. It took almost 4 minutes just to load to the main menu. And this doesn't even count the next loading screen when you choose your destination. This is ridiculous. And to finish the test, this game named Boundless takes advantage of the new hybrid drive and cuts the loading screens to 60%. That is just insane. If you wanna get this drive, I will have the links to everything I mentioned in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it, and consider subscribing for more future videos just like this one. Until the next time.